Welcome back to the Hoop Chat. I'm your host, Emily Austin, and here with me today is San Antonio Spurs' Zach Collins, live from New York City. Thanks for joining me. Appreciate you having me. I think a congratulations are in due. You just signed an extension deal, so kudos to you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. What did that deal mean to you after those years of struggling with injuries? And finally, I think it's safe to say you made the comeback. Yeah, um, it was pretty crazy. It, 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 it made more sense now that it happened after having a couple of years being back. But when, when it happened, it, you know, I thought I was I thought I was toast. I thought I was done. Um, really? thought I was going to be, you know, in the G League, not getting signed by another team, have to work my way back. Um, didn't know if I wanted to go through another rehab because at that point it was like three surgeries and on the third one it was going to be like a six to eight month process of not wow. playing. So like I just didn't know if I wanted to do all that. Didn't know if I could. And if I did choose to try to come back, I didn't know if I could. So it was um, it was a tough time. And to be here now and to look back on it, I'm definitely happy that it, you know, as cliche as it is, made me stronger. Um, but we're in a much better place now. So it's pretty cool. At what point did you think it was over? Um, just when I got that call that it was, um, you know, after we got a, a CAT scan and MRI, they both showed that it was going to have to require another surgery. Just I really thought that was it, um, especially being a free agent at the time. It wasn't like I had another year to get back and, and go prove I can play for teams. But it was I, I, that summer I was a free agent. I got the call midsummer and and I had to start over. So I just thought it was a wrap. I didn't think it would, I would have a chance. What was keeping you motivated throughout that time? Uh, it was pretty much just the choice, you know, whether or not y y you want to come back, you want to try to come back. Like, I would rather try to, I, I pretty much came to the to the point, like, I'd rather try to come back than give up. Yeah. And that's just, that's just, I, I turned the switch and, and that was it. Well, you personally have had a great start to the season. What's got you locked in? Well, we don't want to be what we were last year. Um, obviously we were a lottery team last year. We lost a bunch of games and we don't want to have a repeat of that. Um, obviously we got, uh, a big draft pick, uh, generational talent and, and Victor, but we have a lot of guys that have put in a lot of work this summer, take it seriously. And we're trying to win games. We're trying to be much better than we were. We don't want to have losing be part of this culture for too much longer. So we're, uh, we're locked in. We're trying to win. Well, speaking of Wemby, what's it like playing with someone that was so you know, highly spoken about. There was so much attention around him, and now he's bringing that big name to such a young team. What's that been like? It's been uh, a lot more noise than we're used to. Um, <clears throat> even my first year playing with, this, with the Spurs, we had big names on the team: Dejounte, um, Lonnie Walker. You know, we we had a bit, we had a lot of guys that were pretty well known, and and the media was 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 there, but it's also San Antonio, so it's not really like we're in LA or New York, but now it feels like every game, every shoot around, every um, pregame workout, there's just a million cameras, there's a million media reporters, and they're all there for Victor, so um, it's kind of been an adjustment, but at the same time, you want that. You want that yeah. pressure there. You want those expectations. Um, that means people are paying attention, so it's it's been fun. Would you say it's been motivating for the team? Yeah, I think uh, we all want to, you know, with those cameras on us, we all want to play well. So yeah. we, we, we want to prove that the hype is real for our team. So um, it's just, we definitely try to use it as motivation and, and try not to suck out there for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Hope so. Yeah. What are your thoughts on the in-season tournament? I, I just know that if you win, you know, players get a bunch of money. So that'd be sick. And uh, we get a trophy, you know, a mid uh, in season tournament trophy. I have no idea how the records and and game scheduling and travel all works. By the way, nobody does. Yeah, I have no idea wh wh where we're going. We we started games like we played a team that was in an in season tournament game, and then we played them, and they're not obviously they're not in our like division in the tournament play. So it's like yeah. it's just. It's just very confusing. Uh, I think the courts are kind of cool. I mean, that switches things up a bit. Um, We're going to get into that later. Yeah, yeah. Uh, some of them are cool. Some of them are tough. But, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know how it works. But, you know, I know that, like, like I said, we every player gets a lot of money. If we win, we get a trophy. And if we make it to those final games, then I get to go home to Vegas. So that's what I'm pushing oh, for. Right. That'd be dope. Vegas boy. I just yeah. got back from Vegas. Fans are worried that money's not enough of an incentive for mm -hmm. the in-season tournament. What would make it worth it, or is money enough? 
Well, it's not just money. I mean, that's a cool part of it. I think it's it's bragging rights. It's having pride to go out there and say you won something and nobody else did. Um, but I also think this first year, we all got to see how the, the, the process plays out. And I think once guys get used to it, it's going to be even more of an incentive in the future. May, this year, I feel like it's going to be tough, but um, especially earlier in the year, it'll it'll make these games a lot more important and seem more important. Maybe that'll, you know, for us, it's always going to be about winning the next game, but in the end season tournament, it adds a little bit to it. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see. While we're on it, we're going to go into the Austin Awards, which you remember from the first interview, you're going to have a ranking because mm -hmm. the Austin Awards today are the courts. I chose three of them and you need to rank them. All right. So I announced you'd be coming on and obviously fans were super excited. So I gathered two questions, one of them being, oh, I asked you this the first interview. Do you have a side by side of you and Wemby to, in terms of height? Um, like a photo. I don't know if we have a side by side, but I'm in the frame with him in a couple of pictures. Okay, we got to see those. And I look like a guard, so <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny. My question: yeah. Do you feel short next to him? Yeah, for sure. Has that ever happened before? Uh, not in a very long time. I know in high school before, um, you know, I was I, I got to high school. I was probably only my freshman. Year, I was probably like six four. Only six four. Yeah, six four, six five, and I had some teammates in high school or guys in high school that were taller than me at the time probably like six eight six nine six ten so that was the last time i felt like really short probably so not being in the nba uh when you play like boban um okay. guys that are guys that are just taller than me but by a lot you know if they're an inch taller so you don't really you don't really feel it but yeah boban and now victor and it's like how tall yeah, are you seven foot and he's seven three seven wow. four something like that I think it would be an ant. I might step on him and be like, oops, sorry. For didn't sure. see there. Yeah, out of his <laughs> eye line. No way. Wow. This is a great question. What is the first thing you'll buy with your extension money? Big thing. Oh, man. Or do you have a plan? Or are we investing? We're, We're investing. Both. That's the answer I'll give you. We're investing. Investing in a new car? Maybe. Okay. Maybe. We'll see what we'll happens. See. Follow I'll, him for updates. I do updates. love cars, so that that might be up and there. And dirt bikes. Don't encourage me because I'll go crazy. What's your favorite car? Um, I love Porsches. I love 911s. Mm. Um, I love trucks too. I have a Raptor. It's a 2017 Raptor. And so you do fit in cars? Barely. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Would you fit in a Porsche if it's on a convertible? Uh, the 911s. Oddly, I mean, I could barely fit. It's not Ugh. like a Mercedes. It's not like a big truck, but I can get by. I mean, that's the wow. closest thing to a supercar that I'll be able to fit in. So I'd, I'd try to make it work. Do you but drive often? I, yeah, I love driving for sure. So it's not like weird with the height? Nah, I love driving. I mean, I the, the only car I, I've ever been like, I feel like a normal person in is, is a Mercedes. And okay. those are the big ones. The S550 type. Those are those big boys. Yeah. Hey, they're great cars. Yeah, for sure. Mercedes, if you're watching this, potential sponsorship. Thank you. Sure, Mercedes you. is Do watching. Do that three more times, please, so we can, <laughs> we can get it going. This episode is brought to you by Mercedes-Benz. <laughs> it's not. Um, not yet. For the Austin Awards, I have here three courts for the in-season tournament. Utah Jazz, Portland Trailblazers, and scroll down. What team is this, dude? Suns? Spurs. The, this is the Spurs? Yep. Oh, God. Ugh. I'm not a fan. That's mean. Do you like it? I love it. What? I love it. Wow, maybe I'll just edit this out. <laughs> it's a it's a very uh it's it's interesting. Um but here wait, let me I let me prompt it, it for you. I don't let me hate prompt it. it for you. Austin Awards, what is your ranking? Um I'll go Spurs. No biasness. Yeah, no, no, I would never. Um <laughs> I'll go Spurs one, Utah two, and Portland three. I like the purple. Really? In the Utah court. I think that's cool. You don't think it's so loud? Oh, it's very loud. Like, how do you very focus loud. on the court? I don't know. I, I will say I do like more in the Utah one how it's there are two purples in there. You, yeah. you know, it's like it, it's it's easier to not get distracted by like that one rectangle of color through the court. I like the purple wow. though. What's interesting about Portland, I know it's their team colors. I learned in psychology, if you want your opponents to perform less well, you make their locker room red. Because apparently the color pregame is not psychologically good for you. So now imagine playing on a court that's just completely red. Well, my favorite color is red. 
Really? So I think so I was then you should like Portland. I I Why drive. is that your third? Uh, just because, I mean, I, I, like I said, the, the Utah one is onto something. I love the purple. And then I don't like how the Portland one is like normal court color through the middle. Ah. Yeah. If you're going to go out, you go all out. Yeah, for sure. And right. I say that and I put spurs at one, but that's yellow going through there. I don't even know mm-hmm. what you call that. I like yellow? it. It's just so confusing. There like that a, almost looks like the pace. There is a lot going on in the key. Yeah. There's, <laughs> there's uh, a lot of shapes and lines going on in there. That's interesting. But hey. Sure the Spurs are happy. I, yeah, I like it. Oh, I love this game. Okay. Now, best for last, this game, I'm super proud of. Can't take credit for coming up with it. But there are so many NBA lookalikes, yourself mm-hmm. included, and I'm sure you've heard that before. In fact, I told you yeah, as like you were walking in. Yeah. Yes. Um, so I'm going to present to you NBA players and their doppelganger, and you need to rate out of 10 how much you think they actually look alike. Some of these are pretty good. Mm-hmm. Some I'm questioning. Okay. So Steven Adams and Jason Momoa. 10. 10 out of Easy 10 they 10. look alike? That's the only one. Yeah. Would you see Jason on the street and dap him up? I'd be like, what up, Steven? If I saw Jason on the street. <laughs> you saw Jason on the street. Would you think he's Steven Adams? You gave it a I 10. I would know right away because of the height, obviously. Maybe okay. if I saw him at a restaurant far away and they're sitting down, I would definitely confuse him. Okay. If they, especially if they both had the beard. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a more of a stash guy. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, no, that'd be, that'd be an easy uh, confusion. Okay. Drake and Fred Van Vliet. Obviously, with these haircuts and the beards, yeah. That's, that's, I'll give it a nine. Nine. Oh my yeah. god, these are high. Okay. Scroll down. I like this comparison. I don't know if I had to confuse them. But yeah. what do you think? Jeremy Sohan and Dennis Rodman. Yeah, no, that's very I mean, especially them both being on the Spurs. Was Rodman t- number ten? Or is that a I think so. I no, I didn't edit this. Oh sick. Yeah, wow. they're both ten. I didn't Do you think that was deliberate? That. I don't know. Ask him. I don't know my history. <laughs> I will. No, do you think Jeremy knowing? I mean, that they definitely, they're definitely both out there, and they both like have their own style. Obviously, with the hair, um, I don't remember Jeremy's being that bright, but maybe that's like a little bit go back saturated. To that. You should go back to that. That's dope. The green. Yeah. Huh. What um, is it now? Uh, I'm gonna butcher this. I think lavender. <laughs> lavender. Yeah. I think that's what I get from it. Maybe it's just gray. I don't know. Lavender Ranking thing. out of 10. Um, I'll go nine. Wow. Nine for sure. Rankings. And best for last, of course, no biasness here. <laughs> a gentleman named Zach Collins and a rapper, g Yeah, I, I'd give that a 10. Um, I'd give it an 11. That's yeah. Sick. Are you sure you're not related? Positive. Wish like I positive? was. I love, I love g Really? Yeah, I mean, he's... Um, What's funny is yeah. I saw G Easy in Soho a few days ago, really? and then imagine you're walking the streets. I'm like, "Hey, what's yeah. up, G?" <laughs> yeah, G Easy got a growth spurt. Yeah. Have you ever been actually stopped? People thinking I know yeah, you're super sure. tall, but for you sure. really resemble some. Yeah, it was more of like like I said earlier the restaurant thing. Like I was sitting down, mm-hmm. I was wearing all black. My hair was kind of my hair had gel in it, and they were like, "Yeah, they, they." I don't know if they said I was G Easy, but they're like. Damn, that looks just like him. If someone like, ever asks you, you should just stand up, be like towering over them, be like, yeah, yeah it's me. I like to say yes and see the reaction. Have you guys ever met? No, no, I seen him at, um, uh, we were playing the Warriors when I was in Portland. He was courtside. I, I've seen him, but I've never met him. You know what? There was a fan question. You said Portland. I forgot to include it, but I, I did laugh out loud. Mm-hmm. A fan wrote to me, ask Zach. <laughs> I didn't get it at the time. Ask Zach about the video with Myers Leonard. So I didn't know what he was referencing. And then I found the video of you like dancing by the bench and Myers is hardcore giving you bombastic side eye. Did you ever address that with him? Yeah. At what the time say? when the video came out. Um, yeah. I mean, we just, we have a good relationship and we always give each other crap. So I wasn't surprised. <laughs> he's done a lot worse dancing wise and I and, and my reactions just haven't been caught on video that was just perfect timing mm. and um, 
I wish you guys could have heard the song that was playing because it was a I don't remember, but it was a great song. I had to dance. What's your favorite song? Oh, I'm sorry. Favorite song. I don't I don't know if I have Okay, like top three. Top three songs that if you were on the bench, you're jamming out. Oh man. Um whenever they put Return of the Mac on. I, mm. I I dance to that, which I'm sure everybody does. Yeah, solid. I'm drawing a blank though of like top three, but that's a good one. Um, Would you listen to on the way here? This is gonna be corny, but I'm we're in New York, so I've been listening to Sinatra. Really? Yeah. Not Jay Z. No, I'm not a I'm not a big Jay Z guy. No offense Whoa. to the New York people here. I mean, I mean, I do like him, but I thought you were gonna say I played uh, Empire State of Mind. Yeah, that would have been worse. Why? I think if I unless, over at Sinatra. least that one's a vibe. Imagine you're like you're on the way to the garden and you have like like jazz, New York, New. That's not that's not a bop, you know. You need like vibes. Yeah, I mean it depends on how I feel. I mean coming like Michael Bublé coming to a podcast, I was like I'm chilling. So it's a hoop chat. Sinatra was cool. Nah, it's just a hoop chat. We need Empire State of Mind. You need just. Locked in all the time. Yeah. Hip hop. Like I need you ready, like the same way you're going to the Knicks game or going into the hoop chat. Damn. <laughs> I'll, I'll be better next time. My bad. Yeah. yeah. Zach's going to be the most frequently visited player at the hoop chat. If I'm lucky enough. For <laughs> sure. Garrett, do we have any other lookalikes or is that the last one? No, that's it. <laughs> I had to do it. What is that? That's you on. <laughs> what is that? You on GEZ's body. And on that note, thanks for joining the Hoop Chat. Thank you. Way to go out like that. <laughs> That's hilarious. We're going to go find GEZ. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> that'd be, that'd Where be are you going to put it? In the living room so everybody can see it. Full size. For sure. Why don't you get on a carpet? I, I don't know if his body looks small or my head looks too big. <laughs> One of them's not right, though. Well, but given, you know, it's not your body. That's actually my favorite album of his, too. So that'd be... That'd be funny. That's a great one. Yeah. Best G E Z song. Oh, um, either Tumblr Girls or Complete. Wow, mine is Him and I. That one's good. That's a good one. Yeah. I respect that. Thanks for joining. <laughs>